We'll now have another example. This is uh, this is aligned with your again homework question. So you have again the same clock signal. You have a nice clock signal here, and then this time your output goes to one every other five states. So it's gonna be one, two, three, four, and you're gonna have a one here. One, two, three, four, another one. One, two, three, four, another one. One, two, three, four, another one. So this is your output now. Let's uh, call it uh, out. So the period of the signal now is this one. So it it repeats from here to here, here to here, and then here to here. If you look at these states, there is one state, second, third, fourth, and fifth. There is actually five states here so every five states you get a one so in order to show each state you need three bits of information so not just two but three bits of information you need so you need to be able to tell this is the fourth one I mean the fifth one uh, so if you have a truth table let's say you have clock clock 2 and clock 3 so you have you have to have all the states here for your truth table but there's gonna be a trick this one that we're gonna talk about it so you have eight different states and you want your output zero 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 then here it you want your output to be one but the problem starts here after this point you want your output to be zero but if you do it this way the next time the, the period of the signal is going to be 8 states instead of 5 states so you have to find a way to set all your, all your clock signals to 0 well this is we know that's a clear signal so if when we get this combination if you find a way to clear all our outputs then we would be good to go so I'll, I'll just show uh, the part of it and so this is Q not this is Q this is your clock input so you would have the other flip-flop here too so this would be your clock this would be your clock too and this would be your clock 3 so the trick is now you need to have a clear input for both flip-flops and these clear inputs need to come from a kind of a logic gate combination maybe one logic gate maybe multiple logic gates multiple logic gates 
and then you would have your inputs coming from the clock signals the same clock signals and the combination here has to be 101 that would generate a one output here so this is somewhat a, another truth table for a different different output if you have this uh, your inputs and this is your clear signal that is connected to the clear uh, input of your flip-flops you want when it's 101 you want clear to be 1 all the other states you want them to be 0